Yeah, Shalom, I'm giving no praise on the Abbas, Shimon Shabbat, Shimon Koha Kodash. Double honor, Santa Ria, Apostle of the Great Millstone. I know she offers to be pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. The Baba Ibadi are coming out here to give you this truth for the greatest and mercy of Yahweh. Bashim Yahweh Shabbat, Shimon Koha Kodash. Give no praise on the Abbas, Shimon Shabbat, Shimon Koha Kodash. Okay, so this is going to be a real straightforward video uh, based on this artwork that we see here, which one of the elders had posted. And you know, they say a picture. Tells a thousand words. And this is the same type of situation that we we're seeing here where this simple picture tells a thousand words. Both from the past and for the future too, we understand from the scriptures that there's no new thing underneath the sun. So the Red Hebrew Hidam Esau, as you see him here, bowing, the elites are them because you can see this individual is adorned in in red, scarlet, so you can understand. He's adorned in scarlet. This Edomite is adorned in scarlet robes. So this this wasn't no low level Edomite. And they're bowing down before these Jakes. This particular person is bowing down before Jakes. Israelites, so you can understand. The real the real knights. The real knights. Okay. <laughs> See, you watch um these movies where they got the knights and the knights are a whole bunch of Edomites. And you read the stories and the stories have got swagger and flavor to it. And you be thinking within your mind, well, hold on a minute. All of these stories that we're reading about, about the knights and everything, it sounds like something that Jake would do. But the characters that are playing it within the movie and how we've been led to believe that they look, the thing don't add up. Well, that's the same thing that we see within this particular image. Everything that you've been taught, taught <clears throat> about history, about how things are supposed to be, really is... um. Really is uh, the story of the Red Hebrew Edomites. So the way they've taken down the, the faces of the judges. Okay. They've taken the faces of the judges down. And they put themselves up as being in power. And they put themselves up as being in power for an eternity. And that kind of makes sense when you think about the nature of a Negro, Hispanic or Native American. Which is to be royal and to be ahead. How be it? We want to be ahead of our own brothers and sisters. But because we're so pacified in our own mental image based upon them covering the judges you don't want to surpass the position of your enemies you don't want to surpass the, the, the position of your of your slave master and that's stockholm syndrome right the scriptures speak about that within the book of isaiah which i'll get in a second so let's start here within the book of job, job 9 and 24 the earth is given into the hand of the wicked he covereth the faces of the judges and like we see seen within that picture who do you think is the judge who do you think are the judges the judges are the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. The Israelites. And unto the Israelites was given the earth, the rulership over the earth. Through sin and disobedience, we see within the scriptures that the kingdom was translated unto the red Hebrew Edomite Esau. And we can read about that within this particular scripture that we're reading here. The, now, <clears throat> the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And that's a punishment for the righteous. Seeing your creation. Seeing your home place right this is our home right this earth is our belonging the book of second Ezra's, the seventh chapter uh second Ezra seven chapter i guess the, i forget the exact uh citation of it second eight second Ezra's eight and 54 was it second Ezra seven I forget, I forget exactly where the location of that particular precept is but the scripture says right if the world be made for our sakes why don't we possess an inheritance an inheritance Right, all people come from Adam, we know that. And we know <clears throat> also to them the people whom the most high has chosen. That's the children of Israel. Right? So those are those are the choice people unto the heavenly power. But the scripture goes on to say how the most high the heavenly power said they have to where we don't possess an inheritance within the earth. Now those nobles that you see, those Israelite nobles that you see, which was the, the people that was ruling during the time that you know is the dark ages and, you know there's a reason why they called it the dark ages because it was dark skinned negroes hispanic native americans really judah benjamin and levi ruling throughout the four corners of the earth um it was ruling and that's why that's why it's known as the dark ages because it was the israelites that was ruling okay it was the, it was the dark skinned people that was ruling that's why they were known it as a, as, a, as a dark ages like we see within that particular image right but again like i said through disobedience through Iniquity, the most I said, okay, enough is enough, man. Right, enough is enough. Right, Jerusalem doubt that rejects us, rejects us the prophets. And you know, within every generation, the prophets have always been there. Jake didn't get right. So, us and our king went into captivity. 
I said, our kings went into captivity. Okay? It was all carried away captive in them slave ships. And now you walk around the earth not knowing your heritage, not knowing your history, not knowing who you are, not knowing you're a royal people. And the scripture says so within the book of Second Peter's. <clears throat> you get that. Royal. That's a good scripture. First Peter's. Two, not second Peter's, but first Peter's two and nine says, But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of him that who have called you out of darkness. So we've been set up a, a royal priesthood. But but the, the scripture says that the more side love was going to be departed away from us. And that's why you see Jake in the condition that they're in right now, where they <clears throat> they want to remain or oh, it's they've been conditioned to remain. Lowly, uh, Hosea 1 and 10, it says, Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which can not be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass in the place where it said unto them, You are not the sons of the living power. It shall be said unto you, You are the sons of the living power. That's, the, that's, that's, where, we're at. that's where we're at right now. We see images of Esau, and they're the kings of the earth, apparently. They're the ones that are ruling, clearly. right? But the scripture says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And it also says within the same, chap within the same book, we go to the book of Job, the 20th chapter, Job 20. Right, Job 20 and 3. Know that knowest thou not this of old since man was placed upon the earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. And why are they rejoicing? Because like we see within that particular image, they'll they they know they're not supposed to be on top, but they are on top. So therefore they're rejoicing. They know they know they're not they're not supposed to be ruling, but they're ruling, so they're rejoicing. Okay? But the triumphing of the wicked is short. And the joy for a hypocrite, but for a moment. We understand from the scriptures that the heavenly father Yahweh is gonna have the, the roles reversed and the rightful rulers are gonna be the rightful rulers again. Let's go to the book of Revelations, the twentieth chapter, Revelations twenty and one. And I saw an angel come down from heaven having the key to the bottomless pit and a great chain within his hand. And laid hold on that dragon, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. And that's the time of the dark ages where the Hebrew Israelites were ruling throughout the four corners of the earth. And it was ruling the earth. Because after the downfall of the ancient Roman Empire, we had what was known as the, as the Holy Roman Empire, which individuals like Constantine and um, <clears throat> some other individuals of color was ruling. And, you know, Rome got taken over by by israelites and we see the same thing if this kingdom was to be allowed to continue you can see how jake can get into positions of power you can see how israelites can get into position of aristocracy via marriages via um via via the army and, 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 you know various other different things like that so definitely within the ancient world that happened and we see that jake after a certain dispensation of time was ruling esau was pushed into obscurity like it says here Right, the scripture says, and laid hold on that dragon, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, and abound him a thousand years. So Esau wasn't doing nothing on the in the world stage for a thousand years. Okay? Esau was a non factor for a thousand years. Right? Esau was a nobody for a thousand years. Right? But the most I put it within their spirit to be built back up. Now wear their byword, wear their proverb, wear their song. Cast me into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him, that he should deceive the nations no more till the a thousand years be fulfilled. Um, and after this, he must be loose a little season. And I saw the thrones, and they that sat upon the throne, and judgment was given unto them, and the souls of them that were beheaded for witness unto Yahweh. So we need to skip down to here. Seventh verse. After the thousand years were expired, Satan was loose out of his prison. And that's the role reversal, right? Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the work, wicked. That's Esau coming into the position of power. That's the Red Hebrew Eden, my Esau, being given the keys to the kingdom, which the kingdom is the earth. Right, he who rules over the earth is the king of the earth. Okay, that was loosed for a little season. And Satan must be loosed for, out of his prison, which was um, the interiors of Europe, where Esau was pushed into, pushed out into, and shall go and to deceive the nations in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle. So that's that really sums it all up. That really sums it all up, right? That really sums up Esau being raised, being raised up again. And he was going to rule for a certain amount of time, right? The devil that he is, he's going to rule for a certain amount of time. But he really, he was going to rule to the end that they was going to go to the world's war. 
And after the world's war, we understand that the, the saints shall take the kingdom. Okay, the book of Daniel two and forty four. So we're gonna go back into that. we're gonna go back into that position, man. We're gonna go back into that position. Daniel two and forty four. And in the days of these kings shall the most have set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left over people, but it shall break in pieces, and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. And that's it, man. We gon we gon we gon we gonna be back in that position of ruling, right? Being being the class leading nation, right? We're gonna go back to into that position. Thus saith the scriptures. So ultimately with that, I must say, oh praise unto you, Abbasima Shabashima Koha Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone. And honestly, brothers to be pushing this truth in sincerity. Shalom.